What's in a name? Well, my name is Mr. Bergman. That which we call a rose by any other name would still smell as sweet. Mr. Sams, you're quoting Shakespeare. I am. Just call me Juliet. Juliet? <laughs> Your name is Juliet! You said that. Oh, actually, you know, I, I believe that is in Act 2, Scene 2 yeah. of Romeo and Juliet. Oh, yeah? Did you look that up on the Internet? Yeah, well, yeah, that's how I knew oh. that. But, you know, the Internet is a powerful thing. Google.com. Okay, so, hey, today we're going to learn about naming. So that's why are. you're uh, a name in the rose thing from uh, Romeo and Juliet. So yep. we're going to learn about how to name. Uh, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Ah! Here's what I want you to do. Everybody, get out your periodic table. Push pause. Oh, you're back. Great. You've got your periodic table. I want you to put at the top of your column, like I have here in class, plus one for the first column on the periodic table. Do I sound like a car salesman? You do. In plus two is the second column. Number two, plus two, beryllium, magnesium, and calcium. Hey, then we jump over here. Okay. I'm going to hurt myself. All right. In this column, column 13, I want you to write plus three. Woo! In this column, I don't want you to put any charges. I know it's kind of weird, but that's what I'm doing. Hey, in this column, column 15, with nitrogen at the top, he is minus three. Oxygen's family, oh, and all his family, he's minus two. Minus one for fluorine. And I want you to put, we don't have it on here, but zero on the top of the noble gas family, the last family, column 18, helium, neon, argon, etc. Got it? Got it. Good. Hey, when you're naming and writing formulas of compounds, the first thing you need to do is know the rules. There are uh, several rules, and what you need to do is what? Write them down. So push, pause, pause, pause it, and write it down. Yep. Okay? Hey, you're back. Good. So you've written these things down. Let's do some practice. Okay. I think that would be a good idea. Hey, we've got a couple of uh, names. Now, first of all, interesting thing. Actually, let's go back for a second to our rules. These are for ionic compounds, yes. naming ionic compounds. This only applies to ionic compounds. How do we know if they're ionic again? I think that these calls, they are bonded from a metal to a non-metal. Metal and non-metal. Now, so where do you find metals on the periodic table? Metals are to the left of the staircase. Okay, so here's the periodic table, and there's like the stair step. Wow. So these are the metals here, Yep. and those would be the non-metals. Non so it's a bond between a metal and a non-metal. Yep. And uh, it has three names, like a first name, a middle name, and a last name. And the middle name would be a number, and they don't always appear. Um, it says if it's a transition metal. Okay, so what's a transition metal? A uh, transition metal is the kind of in between there, like scandium over to zinc and down. So this is your transition metals, kind of right in here, okay? So let's uh, do first number one. The first one is CaCl2. Yes. Now where do you find Ca on the periodic Ca table? Ca is over there on the left. Yep. All right, so calcium, if you find the periodic table, yep. is right here. Over on the left, to the left now, of the staircase. And so he's left the staircase. And what charge would you have on there, Mr. Uh, that's going to be plus two. It's yeah, plus, plus two. two. Remember, this is the plus one, yep. plus two. And then we go over here and we find chloride. chloride. Now, it's, why aren't you calling it chloride I mean, instead of chlorine? Well, it's bonded to a metal, which means it's going to be an ion. And chlorine, when it's an ion, we call chloride. All right, so what, what would be this guy's first name? Uh, calcium. Calcium. Because the metal always just keeps this name. And let's kind of skip the middle name for a second. Yep. What would be his last name? That's a chloride. Mr. Sams, there's two chlorides. It'll be dichloride, right? No, just chloride. What? What do you mean? Yeah, the two. Well, it, we'll, we'll we'll talk about that when we go the other direction. Yeah, we go names to formulas. I mean, it's kind of confusing, yeah, guys. Don't worry about the numbers. And why is there no Roman numeral in there? Because according to the rules, that has to be a transition metal, and a calcium is not a transition. Remember, metal. the transition metals, guys, are these metals right here. Yeah. These are the ones that have to have a Roman numeral. Right. So calcium's not no Roman numeral. So it's just calcium chloride. Calcium chloride. Poor how? That's easy. That's very easy. Man, you, I thought chemistry was hard. No. <laughs> Man, you're amazing, Mr. Sam. All right, Na. All right, Na. Natrium. That's, yep, sodium. Oh, sodium. Yeah. yeah, we don't speak Latin here. Yeah, actually, that's a Latin form. I was dropping to my other uh, first language. Yeah, we start with Shakespeare. Yeah. We throw a little Latin in. <laughs> what the heck? We're going to so, culture Asia. <coughs> culture Asia. Yeah. Sodium. Okay. Yep. And, and then, then Br. Now, Br. Now, let's go back to it's Br. Bromine, but Oops, we're dealing with ions here, so that's going to be bromide. Right. It's called bromine, but when it becomes an <coughs> ion with the charge, bromide. So it's just sodium uh, bromide. bromide. And no Roman numerals because sodium is not a transition metal. Yep, sodium. Now, if you look That's on the it. periodic table again, sodium is right there. He is not a transition metal. Nope. And then our other last dude here is BA. BA. Hey, what, is the, what does the mortician say? Um, I don't know. He says barium. Oh, boo. <laughs> I got you there, Mr. Sam. Dumb. Barium. Get him? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Barium. And last name would be in. Now we got, we're, yeah. got threes and twos. What do we get to do with those? Oh, we, we ignore them. That's right. And yep. his last name would be nitrogen, right? No, nitride. Nitride. It's an iron. Yeah, that's right. Okay, barium nitride. Okay. And now barium, just review. Barium not is over here. Not a transition metal. metal. Now, what do we do when we have a transition metal? 
Well, I guess we better like do some transition, transition metal ones. Right. Okay, so we here with copper, and then we have CL. Yep. So first name CU is copper. Copper. Right. Okay. Now we're going to skip his middle name. I think it's okay. harder. Yeah, we'll come and then back. Last name is chloride. Chloride. Okay, we're good on that. And that's the IDE. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look at copper on the periodic table. Copper is a transition metal. Here's copper right here, and he is in this yes. big box. Yes, transition metal. So I need to give him a Roman numeral. Mm -hmm. Now, what do the rules say? Well, that the Roman numeral is based on its charge. 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 It's not how many of them there are there. It is based on the charge. Charge? The charge. Char are you sure it's the charge? I'm positive it's the charge. Don't ever try to make it anything other than the charge. Now, how do I figure out the charges? Well, if we look at chloride, chloride is always minus one. All right, hold on. So here's copper chloride, but let's let's look at the charge, Mr. Sam. So okay. chloride over chloride. here has a charge of minus one from the periodic table. Now copper, remember he's that transition metal. Mm -hmm. We don't know his charge, so no. we have to like figure it out mathematically. Yep, Ooh, backwards. math! Don't say that word. Say, call it working backwards. Working backwards. We're gonna work backwards. All right. So chloride is always minus one. And so we you have, have Cu, uh -huh. Cl, Cl. Right, because we have two chlorides. That's what that little okay. two down there. Yeah, yeah. Is. All right. So here's all those numbers come in. All right. So put a minus charge by each of the chlorides. Negative one. Yeah. All right. And then and by the other one. one. So that's a total of minus two. So that adds up to negative one plus negative one is mm -hmm. negative two. Now they always have to balance out. The pluses have to equal the minuses. So if the minuses are negative two, then the plus has to be. That's easy, Mr. Samuels. That's just plus two. Plus two. And the I know that two minus two is zero. I can do that. You're amazing. I learned that like in third grade. Awesome. So that would mean the charge is plus two. Right. Which then corresponds to the charge. Right. The Roman numeral. And the Roman numeral. So right. I put Roman numeral. The Roman numeral is two. the charge. It is not how many of them there are there. That's the charge. That's it. That's, right. that's all it was. Exactly. Okay, let's Check. do this next one. All right. So that's copper. Again. copper. Oh, yeah, yep. I'm good at that. You don't know his middle name yet. BR, we learned bromide. Bromide. It's in the same column as chlorine. So let's go look at bromide. Okay. Bromide. His charge is minus, minus one. one. Okay. So we have to do the algebra. We'll kind of work uh, backwards. Don't you say the algebra word. Oh, we have to do the math thing. No, it's not math. We're just, We're just working backwards. backwards. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Right. BR's charge is minus one. Minus one. And so that's all the minuses are add up to minus one. So this is so plus one. It has to be plus one. So they it's have just to copper bromide. No, copper. One Roman. But it's one, so I'm good, right? No, put the Roman numeral one. Oh, okay. Guys, yeah. what you have to do is you have to put the Roman numeral there even if the charge is plus one. Yep. Common mistake I see with students. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this one looked kind of mean, Mr. Sanders. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, all right. Chromium, actually, mm -hmm. CR. Let's look ahead, okay. Chromium is CR, right? Yep. And then we're going to put them together with nitrogen, it looks nitride. like. Nitride. So it's not nitrogen, it's nope. nitride. Because it's in a compound. Here. So, yeah. Nitride. Now we have to do a little bit more working backwards. We do. Ooh, We're going to work see, backwards. I didn't go yeah, to that. Exactly. The M word. I didn't use the M no. word. So that's CR, CR, CR. Right, because there's three of them. In, in. Because there's two of them. Now, right. the, now, folks, the thing that, I don't know if you've noticed, but we always give the charge to the negative character. Because that's always the same. That Because we change. always know his charge. These guys, sometimes I call them the schizophrenic elements because they never know what charge they're going to no, take. They're, they're all like over all over the place. Now, nitride is in the minus three column, if yes. you recall, right? Okay, right. so if it's negative three, so if each nin is negative three, that's a total of negative six. So I, okay, I can do that. Minus three and three is six. It right? is negative three. Yep. Negative so the pluses three also have to add up to positive Plus six. So this six. would be chromium six nitride. No, no, well, no. no. Okay, all three chromiums total have to add up to six. Oh, okay. So it's going to be plus what? Well, what number times three is six? Um, two. Two. All right. So this is each of them would have a charge of plus two. So it's not the charge, the overall charge, no. guys. It is the charge of the individual, individual atoms. So this is ions. chromium Roman numeral two, two nitride. It's not chromium three. No. Why is that a chromium three? Because it's the charge. But there's a little three after the chromium. Because that means there are three of them. Right. Each of them carries a two charge. And the Roman numeral is always the charge. charge. Is it anything else but the no, charge? No, it's always the charge. It's always the Just charge. the charge. Now, we're emphasizing this, guys, because it is a problem. It's probably the most common mistake we see in chemistry. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Charge. Okay. Always okay. Charge. charge. 